Hey guys and welcome back. This video is going to be a little bit different. It's not really service dog related. I'm going to talk about seeing a functional medicine practitioner and how just a week later I'm seeing improvements and kind of what that looked like and what we did. I've gotten a lot of questions about it both on my health page and Sebastian's page. So I just figured a YouTube video would be easier because it's a lot to explain. So I've been looking into Eastern medicinal practices and like the witchy woo woo stuff and functional medicine for about four years now. I've tried home homeopathy or like homeopaths um, and they ended up wanting me to go off all of my medications. I ended up getting worse. So I stopped seeing the homeopath, tried another one, same thing, just wasn't, wasn't in the wheelhouse for me and for my body. Um, then I saw an integrative health practitioner on top of like my normal doctors and she started me on a detox for Lyme disease. I was very thankful for her because she listened. She found out that I had Lyme. She did the testing. Um, but then she started me on a detox for Lyme disease, which tore my gut apart, especially as somebody who has Crohn's disease already. Um, it just wasn't, it wasn't a good fit it was too much for my body to handle and because my gut was already destroyed taking out whatever healthy um bacteria and stuff and the healthy stuff in there was just not beneficial for my body so ended up still having Lyme disease still have chronic Lyme disease to this day um and so that was kind of the things I had done in the past, I had watched a lot of videos on like grounding in the morning, getting good morning routine, nutrition, you know, um, all these different like woo woo things that you would do throughout your day. And so I've already implemented some of those things. Like when I go out with Sebastian every morning, I start my day in the sun. I don't touch my phone. Um, I go straight outside. We take him out. I'm out there for about 10 to 15 minutes, which is really good for your body to just wake up and be in the sun. Where I struggle is nighttime. Um, before seeing this practitioner, I was going to bed around 2 or 3 a.m. because I just couldn't fall asleep. I had insomnia due to POTS and just my body being so out of whack. And every night since seeing him, I have gone to sleep before midnight, which is amazing. I feel great. I'm sleeping. I'm waking up at a reasonable hour. And like overall, just feel so much more energized. I haven't been drinking caffeine well, for two days now. Today's October 1st. Um, I am cutting out Dr. Pepper, which if you know me, is going to be very hard. But I have realized it's not the caffeine I'm craving, it's the sugar. So I'm going to be getting some um, of the Zevia Dr. Peppers and trying them. I'll post about them on Trusting My Gut. If you guys want to kind of follow along the nutrition side of things, I'll be posting a lot of like daily updates there. Um, I might post them on Sebastian's page. I haven't quite figured out how I want to navigate this as far as social media on Instagram and TikTok go. Um, but I have a feeling it's going to go more on trusting my gut. It's not really service dog technically related. Um, we'll see how, I, how it goes. But anyway, so this guy is renting my grandmother's old house, which we kept in the family. And my dad and my uncles are running it as a rental property. So he moved in and my uncle saw him and like got to talking because he lives five minutes away. They got to talking. My uncle saw him and got some stuff done. And so I was like, oh, well, I've been looking for a functional, holistic, Eastern medicine kind of person for four years. This sounds amazing. I need to see him. Um, so got an appointment, went down the day before Hurricane Helene hit. So it was like maybe a Tuesday, I think, is when I saw him first. And we spent time talking about my medical history, um, the things I've tried, and I let him go through my blood work because he asked when the last time I had comprehensive blood work was, and so I just handed him my, my chart and let him go through it. And then we did some scans. We did one where he puts these things on my wrist and it like took my heartbeats and my respiratory and stuff like that. And then we did another scan where you have a plate for your hands and a metal plate for your feet. And then you put electrodes like right here and right here and like wrap this thing around your head to hold them in place. And it goes for 300 heartbeats and it sends electro frequencies through your body and it's able to tell a whole bunch of problems in your body just off of this like 
literally maybe three minute scan on these plates. And I was unsure. He said he was gonna be able to tell a lot from it. I was like, okay, sure, whatever. Um, and then we were like looking at the results and it has things from like Chinese medicine on like the chakras and the heart and like the different symbols of like fire and water and stuff. But it also can tell you your body's water content, which mine was severely dehydrated. It can tell you like if you have a thyroid issue, it told him, I didn't tell him I was insulin resistant. Like I have insulin resistance or PCOS. I left that out to see if he could tell it. And this, this scan literally said I have insulin resistance, um, which was so cool. And it just told a lot about my health that honestly was like, why do I even get blood work done if this three minute scan on these plates can tell me everything that blood work says um, and more. And then we, after that, did kind of like a poor man's tilt table, um, except for I didn't go uh, laying down to sitting to standing. I did laying down to standing, standing to sitting, and did qualify for POTS. And so then we, after that, um, did, he like worked on my back because I had a like a huge knot. I had a knot in my neck. We adjusted my hips and did some breathing work exercises. And when I did the tilt table again at the end, I no longer qualified for POTS, which is huge. Um, usually if I change positions, it's an instant, like my heart is just all over the place. And yeah, so that was really interesting. Another thing that was really interesting was to learn that when normal people take a deep breath and like when when you're trying to calm down you're always told to take a deep breath my body does the opposite taking a deep breath sends my body into stress mode and like my heart would start pumping fast my parasympathetic nervous system was going out of whack and so we had to really focus on breathing and focus on not just going into fight or flight from taking a deep breath if that makes sense and then we did some things it's like this little disc and it has crystals in it and again it sends electromagnets my hair i'm shedding it sends electro waves through your body or something and like can tell him what organs are just not aligned and how your central nervous system is feeding information to the rest of your body and then at the end of the first session I had taken a list of all of my diagnoses and I had written down what day I was diagnosed with them, some of the symptoms correlated with each illness. And at the end of my session, he had me rip that list up and be done with it. He said, this is who you were, this is what identified you, and that's not who you're going to be. And I literally bawled my eyes out. Um, Another really cool thing about my first session before I go into the second session was when I got there, he had told me that before he sees new patients, he does a deep meditation to see like what kind of energy they're bringing in and see what he can get to know about them. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, what did you see? And he said that when he was meditating before I came, he saw somebody who's, sorry, I ran out of storage, but anyway, he said he sees somebody that is super excited to take on the world and heal, but has something holding them back and something they're afraid of. And then said that he saw something on my left side of my body, which happens to be where this huge knot in my back was that has been bothering me for quite a few weeks that he was able to get out. And I hadn't told anybody about that other than my boyfriend. Um, so it was really cool just to see like, oh, how did you even know about that? Because I didn't tell my parents about it. My parents have been in contact with him. Um, so that was really cool. Then the next day I went back for my second session in person. Um, we opened with just kind of talking about how I was feeling, how I was feeling about this process. We talked more about cutting out sugar and doing it in baby steps rather than cutting cold turkey because at that point I had cut it cold turkey and was feeling like crap. Um, and we talked about my diet and then we did the tilt table again and again i did not qualify for pots we saw that me taking deep breaths was not sending me in the fly or flight and then we really spent time um i did like a deep meditation with some resin resonance 
pulses, something like that, um, in my like frequencies through headphones. And then I was going to do some light. It was like these light goggles and it does blue light and then go into orange light. But the light was too much for my nervous system to handle. So we did not do the lights. Um, hi, Sebastian. And so we did that and then really focused with that little tool I was talking about with the crystals that was a circle. We focused on like realigning my organs. Um, I'm not really quite sure what we did. I just laid there and he was on his computer apparently sending frequencies through my body. I don't know. I feel better. So I'm not going to question it. Um, and then I left and decided that we were going to continue with bi-weekly Zoom calls to continue this journey. Um, and then I'll like pop over and see him whenever I want. He's six hours away though. And I have gone to sleep before midnight every night since seeing him and I feel so refreshed. Currently working on cutting out sugar, drinking a lot of water. Um, I realized yesterday juice is my problem because I cut out Dr. Pepper and then caught myself drinking a whole bunch of juice, which like not from like a juice press or like one of those healthy places. I mean like the ocean spray and Mott's and you know, like sugary juice. So sugar is definitely gonna be the hardest thing for me to cut out. And then today I had my first Zoom call with him and we talked just like how I'm feeling emotionally, how I'm feeling physically um, and did a meditation. And then he gave me some journal prompts to do. I'm gonna share pretty openly about this experience, but there are some things I'm gonna keep to myself. Um, some of those being these journal prompts. And um, we talked about some exercises. So I'm gonna get into rope flow. It looks really fun and really cool. You basically take a rope and it's like an extension of your body and it helps you learn to like move your spine and body in a healthy way. Today, after I get off a Zoom call, I am going to, um, go and do a walk jog on the beach for a 30 minute exercise walk and then whenever i feel ready do just a 30 second jog and then go back to walking and just do that as i feel the whole point of the exercise is like one get moving start exercising but also to listen to my body so if i'm just not feeling a jog or my heart's going up too high just go for a walk um and he wants me to do it between 12 and 2 because i'm severely vitamin d deficient and the hours of 12 to 2 are when the sun is at the highest. It's also the best time even just for like somebody who's not vitamin D deficient to just go get 10 to 15 minutes of sun. So I did that yesterday just standing. So today I'm going to go do the walk jog there. And then the last exercise is to do some swimming. And hopefully in November I can start trying to do yoga again. I don't know. But overall I'm feeling just like very grateful to be alive. I'm feeling lighter. I'm feeling rested i haven't felt rested pretty much since i got sick um and overall just feeling a lot better feeling really good i'm excited for healing i'm excited for this journey i'm excited that we're already seeing differences um and i'm excited to take you guys on this journey there's a lot of like little life changes i'm making but they're having a huge impact so here's to a new journey of Eastern functional holistic medicine meditation practices and here's to healing and figuring out what life can look like beyond being chronically ill. So I'll see you guys later.